Welcome to the channel everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Today I'm super excited to show you something really useful. A smart energy monitoring system built using ESP32, ZMPT 101B voltage sensor and ACS712 current sensor that measures real electricity consumption in real time. We've added a 16x2 i2 CLCD display with two pages. Page 1 shows real time voltage V, current A and power W. Page 2 displays the total energy in kilowatt hours and cost in rupees. To make it more powerful and smart, this project is fully connected to the cloud using Blink Mobile and Web Dashboard, so you can monitor live readings from anywhere in the world. And that's not all. Every month, your total energy usage and bill cost are automatically sent to your Telegram app, so you'll never be surprised by monthly bills again. This system is perfect for home energy tracking, appliances monitoring, load management, and smart IoT projects. So stay tuned till the end, because we are going to build this project step by step from wiring, calibration, coding, and testing. Everything you need to make your own smart energy meter at home. If you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming IoT videos. Let's get started and build this exciting project. Before we start building our smart energy monitoring system, let me quickly show you all the components we'll be using in this project. First, we have the ESP32, the brain of our entire system. It handles all the sensor readings, calculations, cloud updates, and even sends monthly reports to Telegram. Next is the ZMPT101B voltage sensor. This tiny module is responsible for accurately measuring the AC mains voltage. It's highly sensitive, compact, and perfect for safe voltage sensing. Along with that, we're using the ACS712 current sensor to measure the load current. It gives us precise current readings, which we will use to calculate power and total energy consumption. To display all the values in real time, we're using a 16x2 LCD display. And to make the wiring simple, the display is paired with an I2C module, so it only needs two wires to communicate with the ESP32. All the components are mounted neatly on a Vera board, making the project strong, compact, and easy to handle. We're also using some header pins for clean connections and easy removal of modules. Super helpful for DIY builds. A simple push button is added as well, which we'll use for resetting stored energy and cost data whenever needed. For connections, we're using male to female jumper wires, which make the wiring flexible and beginner friendly. And finally, the AC load socket, where we will connect our appliances to measure their real-time power consumption. Each of these components plays an important role in creating a fully functional smart and IoT-enabled energy meter. First, we place the 16 by 2 LCD display carefully onto the breadboard so that all its pins sit properly in the slots. Next, we mount the I2C module directly on the breadboard pins and align it correctly so that it fits perfectly on the LCD display pins. Once the I2C module is in place, we connect four jumper wires to the I2C pins. These are ground, VCC, SDA, and SCL. Now we take these four wires and connect them to the LCD section on the Vera board. This makes the wiring cleaner and allows us to connect everything firmly to the main circuit. By using the IA2C module, we reduce complicated wiring and control the LCD using just two signal wires, making the overall setup more reliable and professional looking. At this point, our LCD section is ready. And here is the full look of our IoT energy meter system. Before we continue, a quick safety warning. We are working with high voltage AC mains, so make sure the power supply is completely switched off while wiring. If you are not confident with AC wiring, please take help from a trained technician. First, we take the phase wire, red, from the AC mains and connect it to the upper terminal of the ACS712 current sensor module. Next, we take the another phase wire, blue, from the load socket and connect it to the below terminal of the ACS712 current sensor module. Now we connect the AC voltage input for our system using the ZMPT101B voltage sensor. Here you can see two wires, red and blue, already attached with a male plug. These two wires will act as the AC input for our voltage sensor. 
We carefully connect these two wires to the input terminals of the ZMPT101B voltage sensor. This allows the sensor to measure mains voltage while keeping the ESP32 safely isolated from high voltage. Once the connections are secured and checked properly, we plug the male connector into the AC main socket. Again, only after confirming all connections are tight and safe. Also plug the load socket male plug into the AC socket. Now it's finally time to power on our system. We take the 5 volt DC adapter and carefully insert it into the DC jack connected to the circuit. As soon as we switch on the power, the ESP32 boots up, the LCD backlight turns on, and our smart energy meter comes to life. If everything is connected correctly, you should now see real-time values appearing on the display. Now it's time to make our project truly smart by connecting it to the internet and setting up our Blink IoT dashboards and Telegram notifications. First, we'll configure the Blink Web Dashboard, where we can monitor voltage, current, power, energy, and cost from any browser, on any device, anywhere in the world. So first, open up your browser and go to the Blink IoT platform. If you're using it for the first time, simply sign up for a new account. Otherwise, just log in with your existing account. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken to the main dashboard. This is where we'll create our project, set up widgets, and connect our device. Now let's move ahead and create our dashboard step by step. First go to the developer zone and then click on the new template option. After opening the pop-up window, give our template a proper name, choose ESP32 as hardware, and choose Wi-Fi as connection type, then click on the done button. Next go to the data stream tab and then click on new data stream button and select virtual pin option. Now set all data streams step by step according to video and save it. Do the same process for all the data streams. And finally, save all the data streams by clicking on Save button. From the dashboard, click on New Device and choose From Template. Now select the template you created for this project. Once the device is created, Blink will generate an authentication token Blink template name, and Blink template ID for your ESP32. Copy this token and paste it into your code. This token is what connects your hardware to the Blink cloud. After pasting the Blink credentials, now let's move to create some widgets for our system. From the widget panel, drag and drop the widgets you need onto the screen. First, add four gauge widgets for voltage, current power, and total energy, and then add one label widgets for cost. Now configure each widget and link it to the correct virtual pin from your code. For example, voltage to V0 current to V1, power to V2, energy to V3, cost to V4, 
You can also customize the widget name, units, and refresh rate for a clean and professional looking dashboard. Once that's done, click Save, and your live data should now start appearing on the screen. Now your IoT dashboard is ready and showing real-time readings from your ESP32. Now it's time to set up the mobile dashboard so we can monitor everything right from our smartphone. Open the Blink IoT mobile app and log into the same account. Select your device and tap on the Edit option to start adding widgets to your mobile dashboard. Now click on the plus icon and select your preferred widgets one by one. Then link each widget to the correct virtual pin. V0 for voltage, V1 for current, V2 for power, V3 for energy, and V4 for cost. Arrange the widgets in a layout that looks clean and easy to read. Once you're done, save the dashboard. Now wherever you go, you'll have live readings right on your phone. Now let's set up Telegram messaging for automatic energy and bill updates. First, open Telegram and search for Botfather. This is the official bot used to create Telegram bots. Start the chat and type slash new bot to create your own bot. Give your bot a name and a username. Once it's created, you'll receive a bot token. This token is very important. Copy it and paste it into your ESP32 code. Next, we need the chat ID. For this, click on the below link and go to this web page. In this web page, press Ctrl plus F to open the search bar and type api.telegram.org. Now copy this link and paste it into another tab. Here you can see nothing you get. You need to enter the same bot token and then type the correct method name. After that, you will see a list of IDs listed on this page. Now copy that chat ID and paste it into your code as well. Now enter your Wi-Fi name and password here. Also change the voltage and current calibration factor from here. Change the numbers slowly and upload the code again and again to perfectly calibrate your both voltage and current sensor. Now from the Tools menu, select the correct board, choose ESP32 Dev Module. And now select the correct COM port. Once everything looks good, click on the Upload button. The code will now be compiled and uploaded to the ESP32. I have noticed that the board and port selection screen recording was not captured, but follow the audio what I have said and do as it is. When the upload is complete, the board will automatically restart. And if everything goes well, you should see live readings appear on the LCD, Blink dashboard, and Telegram. 
Now it's time to verify our readings using a multimeter. First, we set the multimeter to AC voltage mode and measure the voltage directly from the main supply. Now we compare this value with the voltage shown on the LCD and the blink dashboard. If the values are close, that means our Zuck MPT 101B voltage sensor is working accurately. Now let's see how we can change the display screen using this push button. Whenever I press this button, the LCD switches to the next page. We're showing total energy consumed in kilowatt hours and the total cost. This makes our system very simple and user friendly. Everything is just one click away. Also, when I press and hold this button for more than three seconds, the system automatically resets the total energy and cost values. It also clears the saved data from the EEPROM memory, so the system starts fresh from zero. Now it's testing time. For this demonstration, I'm using a 7 watt LED bulb as the test load. The voltage and current change in real time, and you can see the power value showing close to 7 watts, confirming that the system is working correctly. On the Blink dashboard, the same readings appear instantly on both the web and mobile app. And within seconds, the updated energy usage and cost are sent to Telegram. Now let's test our system with a higher load. This time, I'm connecting a 60 watt soldering iron to the output socket. As soon as I switch it on, you can see the current and power values increase instantly on the LCD display. The power reading now shows close to 60 watts, which confirms our system is measuring correctly under higher load conditions. This test proves that our system is not only working for small loads, but also accurate when handling medium power devices. So that's it for today's project. Our smart energy monitoring system is now fully built, tested and running successfully. We measured voltage, current, power, total energy usage and electricity cost, displayed everything on the LCD, monitored it remotely on the Blink dashboard and even received updates directly on Telegram. This project is a perfect example of how IoT can make everyday life smarter and more efficient. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support the channel and motivates me to bring more exciting projects like this. If you have any questions, suggestions or want the source code, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Until next time, keep learning, keep building and stay creative with electronics. See you in the next video.